Gagarto here. It's been a little while from the Kayak. Times a million for me. Um, I have a new shop and uh, getting things together. Got this piece of steel at the iron yard, but thought it was nice and flat, there's some curve to it. And I don't think I can make a welding table out of it now. It's a bitch. This is about uh, $50 worth of steel. Um, we got a, a MIG welder, thanks to Alan. Got a propane acetylene, the Victor Torch setup. Um, some beautiful little blacksmithing hammers. Da -da -da -da. And uh, my neighbor has a TIG welder I can use, which is uh, fucking awesome. And uh, I got this nice jewelry table. Jewelry table really has this jewelry slab. Um, I have a mini anvil. Uh, my friend, who, whose welder this is, um, Alan I'm working with, just went to Northern Virginia to an old family's house for the week, and he scored an anvil, a leg pose vice, you know what leg pose vice is? It's like one of those, but bigger, and the vice goes to the ground, gives you more support, um, and some tongs, but the anvil's huge, you didn't know. Uh, these are, um, this is uh, like a two and a half pound hammer, so it's two and a half pounds, and at least 125 pound anvil to use it, so every pound hammer you're swinging down steel, you need about 50 pounds of metal beneath it to distribute the pressure evenly. Um, I'm using more copper and um, brass, so that's not as big as a deal. And uh, I got this motor that came in today, look at this, woo, this just came in, this is the twister motor. I have to go to the iron yard tomorrow and find iron, either more for the welding table, um, or I might just buy a new sheet, which is expensive and then low on funds, and uh, I have to buy a metal for the uh, twister machine. So this guy, right here, is pneumatic, runs on air, and this right here, at 20 RPMs, creates 2,800 pounds of torque. Now, the average car is around 100 to 200 pounds of torque. And so, uh, it gives you an idea of how much 2,800 pounds of torque is that can cold twist steel. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to cold twist that much type of steel, but I'll be able to cold twist some steel. Um, that's more torque than the last twist machine I had. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I got, um, Locked out in the machine shop with a written agreement. And uh, sheriffs had to come and this whole crazy fiasco. And I'm out of there. Toxic Energy is gone. I have this new shop. Uh, I'm being put up for free to support my work. Tesla Tower got kidnapped in the whole process. Got it back. It's right here. Do do do. Um. And uh, I have a bunch of orders to fill, orders to help me getting the shop up and going. It's just a lot of work by myself getting the shop up and going. Um, and uh, yeah, um, that's that's the new shop. It's small, it's a downgrade, but it's it's drier. That's a nice thing. Um, and I don't have to deal with excessive over processing emotion emotional processing meetings. Which are good. Emotional processing is good. A little too much can it's overkill. And uh, this is the shop, this is where I'm at. Magic's happening here slowly but surely. And uh, I really could use some help in, in multiple ways since the manifesting and moving forward. So who knows how our things will manifest, but definitely need financial help. Definitely need uh physical up. Um, a lot to do on my own. But I got a really new computer today, a nice one. That means I'm going to get Maya back up and going. I'll get the YouTube channel up and going more because I do video editing. Um, and but with Maya, I'm going to start making some models to talk to show you guys about the devices I have in mind and explain the concepts behind them. So, until then, adios everyone. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, I love you all. Bye.